All right, we're going to start by showing this. This is part one that was just done a series or two ago. Today, we've been working on part two, which is a different scale, a second different scale, and it a whole different approach. Like that. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Motion, Part 24, Exploratory Surprise. Yes, yes. So, in today's episode, um, we re-entered by saying the tour. We did a video the other day, the video edit, the tour that we're the tour guide for is very much on our mind. It's tomorrow. So, when the logistics are impeccable, the event is transformational. We had two items left to get ready and we knocked one of those off today. Um, then we were able to re-enter um, and begin composing in earnest with this second scale. And one of the key, you may remember that we are focusing on four scales, four scales, the ones that are all in yellow. And this one over here is, uh, this yellow one here is part one, which you just heard a reminder of. And what we are listening to now is part two. So these scales uh, we're working on in earnest. In particular, there's a new way of sorting the chords that we call blah, 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 blah. But if you see this yellow highlight, it shows that everything is now being put in mirror order. And that reflects another one of our is that it's slowly been dawning on us how important mirror order matters in many ways. Uh, the second thing about what you're going to hear is we've been focused on selecting backbone melody first and then adding matching cadences rather than cadences than backbone. But before we did that, we had fun with our Reaper digital editor and we took part one and we further explored how to work with it in uh, special effects. So we are now routing the cadence to a delay and the backbone to a reverb. And it now sounds like this. We'll just play part of it. And there's a, del there's a one second delay. Have you just hear that again? If we play it here and then we stop it, That's the one second delay coming in where it says cadence delay, amazingly enough. So um, it plays both the original and it plays the delay. And you can hear it at the end also. And then also in the middle, we've got a, a reverb going on down here. So it makes a even more spooky sounding animation. And did you hear again how it stopped one second later? So that was new, that's new. Then we went ahead and added it to this animation, which you've already seen, but we'll just show you what it's, it's the same animation, but we added the spooky effect. So that was a lot of fun. We, we especially learned a lot more. We made a lot more uh, learning about synthesizer sound font options, which we showed you some research and Reaper info on synthesizer plugins and so forth with the separate cadence delay and all that. So then after we did all those new chord order sorts, which we just talked about, we went ahead and in our 3D platform made the piano that goes with it. And we were, this is what we've been using to pick out some tunes. So here's the minor scale up here. Da, 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 da. 
and you'll hear that in the minor scale. And then the major scale. And then, of course, you play all the notes. And then you get this. And the beauty of this is you can, by having colored notes and and visual intervals, we were picking out uh, things that we thought sounded cool, like this. And because we were picking all the bottom row, we knew that was a major whoops. So it's root mode, neutral, none, root. And then the minor version is root, minor mode, neutral. Again, pick the green note. So you get a kind of a, a cool pattern, and especially because we're repeating using the green notes. In any event, we're going to play what we came up with for you so far, and that'll take us home. Here we go. So that concludes today's stream. And what we like about this composition is it's jazzy, it's familiar, and then it promptly goes into what we would say is unfamiliar territory. Or maybe it's familiar territory for jazz aficionados, but having five note chords right up here and still being able to say that's an ambivalence and, uh, and so forth was a lot of fun. So our ideas for next time are... Look some more with part two there. There's some things we can do to kind of smooth out the overall structure. Make a chord database for this scale. And our good old friend to be determined. Acknowledgements to Mr. Spatz and Imperium42 who stopped by today. Thank you. We always appreciate your presence. Tune in next time to see what happens next. Do take care. Do come back. And do keep on streaming. <laughs>